Today is the day that I finally get to open up a box of Flesh and Blood Outsiders. I'm still buzzing off last weekend's pre-release, it was such a good time, so I am ready to be digging into these cards and finally getting to see more of them. So no intro needed, we're in my kitchen, dining room, table, and this is where I want to be right now. So we're just going to crack into this box and check out some cards. All right, we have the new box right here, Flesh and Blood Outsiders. I'm so stoked to open this, like I already said a billion times. I think there's 24 packs in here, 16 packs in every card, <laughs> in every pack. And uh, I don't really need to say anything else. We're just going to crack this box open. So let's go. I've been hearing some pretty crazy stuff too. I've been hearing some crazy clumping stuff, so I mean, maybe that can benefit us today because that would be pretty cool honestly at this point i mean obviously pulling multiple legendaries would be amazing in a case but really at this point i had to think about this this is a win 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 for me so i've been playing Fi, so i already have ninja cards um i traded recently for like um it was like a month ago i just thought lexi was a really cool hero so i have a ton of ranger stuff and then even from last weekend, I really like Assassin now. So no matter what, no matter what legendaries I pull, what Majestics, I'm going to be pretty happy, honestly. So I'm just really excited for this. It is a triple win for me no matter what. But let's go. Let's get into these cards. All right, here we go. I was going to open one of these boxes with the homies, but honestly, I couldn't wait, man. This was haunting me. <laughs> I've had it all day. And then I finally get to do this, so I'm like, mm. No, I can't wait. All right, here's our first foil. I don't think I've even seen this card yet, but Seeker's Mitts. I think I pulled the Seeker's Boots at the pre-release, but man, these rainbow foils are getting out of hand. They look so nice, it's crazy. All right, let's put that off to the side. And then I think the cold foil is probably gonna be in the token slot. I'm pretty sure that's what happened when I pulled it last time. I was gonna really take a long time on this video, but I'm probably gonna marinate with these cards after I'm done opening. And I'm pretty sure most of everybody's seen all the cards up until now anyways. Obviously, I'll stop on anything that I haven't really seen yet. Um, because there are definitely some Majestics that I want to pull for um, mostly, if I'm being honest, mostly Assassin or Ranger for sure. All right, here we go. We have uh, our Inertia Trap. So this is another really good Assassin card. Oh, it's a Ranger card too. So like the whole, the whole premise of this set pretty much is they're starting to really introduce really good um it's hard to i can't tell if it's like cold foil or not but the traps are coming the traps are here so the traps are pretty much i think only for assassin and ranger but i think there might be a couple hybrid trap cards for ninja as well but yeah the traps are here man right, brush off seek horizon feisty locals malign wither skybound shot and honestly i didn't even want to go to my studio my i have barely been in my studio since i got home i went home drank some water put the case on the table nice these hollows look so sick and then i said it's time to go let's do this all right fleet foot sandals azuri and arachne and you know the the tokens and all that stuff i just couldn't wait I'm too excited there are some other sets from other games that I'm getting pretty hype about too, so it's just going to be a good period. Honestly, like a good four or five weeks of new sets coming out. We have Cryptic, just had the new Akora set come out, Isolate, Merkmire, Twin Twisters, Malign, we have a Hurl. Okay, here's our first Majestic. Okay, sick. So this is Burdens of the Past. And this is a generic one. I haven't seen this one yet, actually, so I'll get into that later. But it looks pretty sweet. Infectious Host. And we have a Hollow Bleed Out. Nice. Um, but yeah, a lot, of, a lot of good sets coming out soon. The, um, I, lost my train of, I lost my train of thought earlier, but the new Akora set just came out. The Cryptic uh, Wave 2, or whatever it's called, is about to release next week and then of course there's native coming out soon with metazoo so uh, a lot of good sets coming out honestly and you know 
I've got a, I got a whiff of sorcery, and I gotta say that looks pretty fun too. Especially um, since the consensus is it's geared more towards like a casual play, which um, I'm super into because there are so many card games, and you only have so much brain power. So uh, I saw some gameplay, and it looked really fun as well. Oh, sick! We have the free willing renegades, and uh, third bear tunic. Katsu and a frailty token. Cut down the size. Um, I've already said, like in the last Flesh and Blood video I made, but I'm a new player and I got really discouraged last summer. And I was, you know, obviously playing like other games too. So, like I said, only so much brain power that you can disperse into all these games. But. I'm really glad that I finally took the leap and I decided to play this game because honestly it has been amazing and it's so much fun and it just seems, you know, in my opinion, just so well balanced in so many ways. The way the resources work, everything I can go on, honestly, just super into it. Destructive, Deliberation, Spring Load. Scout, Infecting Shot, all the new, um, all, honestly, just all these new cards just look so cool. It's just kind of giving you a, like a new spin on everything, which is really sick. Inertia Trap, Boulder Trap, Hollow Spring Load. Yeah, these hollows are so sick, man. <laughs> they just look so good. Um, hopefully I don't pass over a cold foil. Maybe I'll be able to tell once it's on camera, but it's kind of hard to tell. I have to like look off to the side or something. And uh, one thing I really do like about Flesh and Blood is you can probably hear it. It's all paper packs. Super into that. Cut down to size. That card did work for me. And I don't even think I pulled the red one, but that card is amazing at the sealed event. Razor's Edge, Twin Twisters, Short and Sharp. Silverwind Shuriken, this card is pretty cool. It's like a new item that Ninja can have. Spike with Frailty, I love this art. That's one thing that I really love about this game too. It's just the art is so cool and really adventurous in a lot of ways. We have a Hollow Recoil. And we have Toxic Tips. Alright. Seek Horizon, Feisty Locals. Let me know in the comments what you're excited about with Flesh and Blood. I know they have... Um, I forgot what it's even called. I'm blanking right now. I'm too excited about this set. But um, huge tournaments coming up in April. Um, for somebody like me, I'm actually excited about participating in the skirmish. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. I won't be trying to play in any of the big qualifying tournaments yet, but uh, seems like really cool. Ooh, skybound shot. Nice. Let me know in the comments which hero you're excited about the most. I am personally, <laughs> I, I mean, it's so limited, but it's cool at the same time. I just really like the new Arachne, but it's only a young Arachne, so you can't play Classic Constructed, but you can still play Commoner and Blitz, so that's kind of what I'm gonna be after at the moment. Oh, Wreck Havoc, sick. I First time I've been able to see this card, but this is uh, one of the main arts that you see with Outsiders, really cool. A lot of the promo that they've been doing. Uh, spike with Inertia, nice. And, oh, a hollow cut down to size, that's nice. Um, I don't remember what I was saying, but lots of things to be excited about. We have Toxic Tips, Frailty, and Katsu. Hi. And I might give Lexi a spin. I do like kind of more mid-range control decks also. Even though, um, you know, Phi is like the opposite of that. I kind of like a little of everything. Honestly, my sweet spot is a mid-range deck. So um, I'm still getting my footing with this game. Finding out what I like the most. So yeah, I still am feeling out what feels right to me. And we have Deadly Duo. Back Heel Kick. Merc Mile Grapple. Isolate. Surging Strike. Plunge. Looking for Scrap. We have Humble. The card's awesome. And a hollow infect about when a new set comes out and obviously collectors get really excited but from like a you know somebody that wants to play it's just it's a whole new world of opportunities and cards you can go through and learn some new interactions and you're always learning when you think you have something figured out and then you see somebody play it in a different way it just you know you just keep learning oh here we go nice stab wound so this is another majestic and this one is an assassin slash ninja one 
Just check that art out. That's really cool. A stab wound. Dude, the art in this set is <laughs> it's pretty intense, man. But I'm into it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Infectious host. That looks crazy. Look at the rainbow hollow on <laughs> the blood rot. That looks crazy. <laughs> Wild. Alright, I think we're almost halfway through this box. Two Majestics, so maybe it's all clumped at the bottom. Um, I had a buddy, I think I mentioned it already, but he was saying that he was watching super clumped videos. So hopefully this first box, if we don't get anything crazy, the rest of the boxes in the case will be absolutely insane. That would be amazing. Oh, Bonds of Ancestry, nice, you want that. Tarpet Trap, and Fisticuffs in the Hollow. I'm actually super happy with that, especially this was a, this was one of the cards that helped me push through last weekend. Love it. It feels fun to be opening videos again. I, uh, I'm pretty brain dead right now. I just got done <laughs> working a full day, but I just couldn't, I just could not open a box. I just had to. And I was like, uh, you might as well record. Cause whenever I don't record is whenever I pull the crazy stuff. So, um, <laughs> you know, it's always a catch 22. Cause when you are recording, um, sometimes that just goes away. But I really want the legendary equipment for assassins, honestly. Because I have um, New Horizon for Ranger, and like I said, I already play Fi, so I have a lot of really great ninja equipment. And I know there's some new equipment that's really good, but for stuff that I haven't seen yet, I would really, really like to pull some legendary assassin stuff. That would be pretty sick. Oh, nice. The Widowmaker. How about that for <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, but I would be totally cool with that quiver. Honestly, it's pretty crazy. They get shuffles uh, three arrows back into your deck, which is pretty cool. I think it's an instant too, which is nice. Okay, seductions shot or sedation. <laughs> Infect, infecting shot, head jab. Whatever that is, I call that the Post Malone card. Infectious Host, and we have a hollow back heel kick. Look at the rainbow hollow on that. You know, the hollows look good on all the cards, but then some of them just pop extra hard. And this is most certainly one of those cards. I don't know how many packs are left. Could be four, could be six, I'm not sure. Not including this one. So, we've only pulled two Majestics, so we have to hope for something better. We have to. So far, this box is kind of spooking me a little bit. We have a plunge, spinning wheel kick, and we have a hollow one-two punch. That's another one where the rainbow foil looks really nice. And we have a Seeker's Galette, and a Zuri, and a Blood Pox. This art's crazy. And I think I've said this before, but who cares? Play whatever card game you want, you know? There's always like some weird like cross pollination that people like aren't super into. Like if you like a card game, like play it, you know, because there's some people that like flesh and blood but don't like other games and vice versa, whatever. It's like ah oh nice, knives out. This is actually one of the more popular majestics. Your daggers gain plus one this turn. So for the whole turn your daggers gain plus one, which is pretty sick, honestly. It would be really badass. It'd be really cool with the spider's bites and actually with the Kadachis too, now that I think about it, because I forgot it's a ninja one too. But awesome, at least we pulled a third Majestic, and uh, we keep it moving. We have a Hollow Bleed Out. But yeah, it doesn't matter what game you play, right? Like, it's all about community. As long as you feel like you're being cool to yourself and other people, who cares, you know? I'm never into any of the negativity, I don't care. All right, recoil. Hey, nice. We have a hollow mask of malicious manifestations. That's kind of like a little bit of a mouthful right there. But yo, this card looks crazy. And no spice behind door number one. I think usually they're prize cards. I don't know. If I'm wrong, let me know. I'm usually wrong a lot, so <laughs> no surprise there. I'm really happy to be seeing a lot of these kind of cards, though. The two for six, the two for five. I, uh, I want to see a lot of those, but <laughs> I'm sure I'll be up to my neck and bulk here soon, so I'm sure I'll see all the cards I would like to see, hopefully. All right, we have Sedation Shot. Oh, look at that in the Rainbow Hollow. That looks crazy. 
All right, here we go. Behind door number one. Soaking G and uh, Riptide, young Riptide. But I know we're supposed to be pulling some more spice. So hopefully we'll be pulling <laughs> some more spice. Cause so far, like we haven't even pulled a cold foil yet now that I think about it. And you're basically guaranteed at least a common cold foil every box. So these are the last two packs. Come on, Riptide, give us some luck. But no matter what, other boxes to open, more games to play, it's all good. Um, if you would like to, remember to like and subscribe if you like the content I got going on. I think we're going to have a pretty fun year doing some things that are fun. And getting back to just things that make me super happy. So let's get it. Hey, a hollow dishonor. That's nothing to scoff at for sure. Majestic. So that's our fourth one. And it's hollow, so that's cool. And this is definitely one of the nastier cards for sure. Kind of a lot to pull it off, but if you do, damn. <laughs> that's all I have to say. Uh, toxic tips and no cold foils. I might have to go through my bulk later because I'm telling you, I can't tell if I pulled one or not. So, um... We might have got fleeced this one. Only time will tell. And lots of cards that you go through. Alright, Prowl. Love seeing it. Back heel kick. Toxicity. Oh, nice. Okay, this is our fifth Majestic. We're, quick, we're cool with that. We have a Nerve Scalpel. We'll take that. We take those. And we have a hollow lace with inertia. Look at the rainbow print on that. That's awesome. Sick. Alrighty. Oof. It looks, unless the cold foil is behind this card. Oh, oh, it is. Alright. But it's a common. But you know what? Oh my god. <laughs> I pulled this last weekend. Okay, there's the cold foil. I pulled it last weekend, but at least we pulled one. Um, so in this box, we only pulled five Majestics that I know of. And um, a Cold Foil. At least one of the Majestics was hollow, though. So uh, I guess I got to take that. But that is all for today. I will definitely be making another video. I kind of wanted to go live on Instagram. But I got very impatient. I just wanted to open this box. But I'm sure I'll be doing that soon. Or by the time I do that... This video will already be out, or about to be out, not sure. But thanks for watching the video, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Later.